apparently my last two videos got me quite worked up about Oral Roberts. Today, I'm going to vent. Oral Roberts came out of the latter rain movement of the 1940s. Another well-known evangelical to come out of that movement was Jim Jones. Oral founded Oral Roberts University in Tulsa, Oklahoma in 1963, stating that he was obeying a command from God. Students were required to sign an honor code pledging not to drink, smoke, or engage in premarital sex. And since drinking, smoking, and premarital sex don't go with college anyway, we all know how that worked out. In 1977, Oral claimed to have a vision from a 900-foot-tall Jesus who told him to build City of Faith Medical and Research Center and the hospital would be a success. Oral could have chosen to go to a hospital or perhaps a psychiatrist, but being a faith healer, he chose to reveal that information to the entire world instead. In 1980, Oral said he had a vision which encouraged him to continue the construction of City of Faith, which opened in 1981. In 1983, Oral said Jesus had appeared to him in person and commissioned him to find a cure for cancer. The City of Faith operated for only eight years before closing in 1989, proving, without a doubt, that if a 900-foot-tall Jesus told Oral his hospital would be a success, then Jesus was obviously lying. In January 1987, during a fundraising drive, Roberts announced to a television audience that unless he raised $8 million by that March, God would call him home. As luck would have it, he raised $9.1 million, and Jesus didn't have to slay him. Later that year, Oral announced that God had raised the dead through his ministry. In 1987, Oral Roberts reported to Time magazine that he personally raised a child from the dead. He also reported that the only witness to this event was Richard Roberts, his son. His ministry continued to lose money, partially thanks to building a $150 million skyscraper in the middle of nowhere, and partially due to the fact that he was bilking the ministry out of money. In 1988, the university purchased a home for Oral in Beverly Hills, which included a country club membership. Oral soon vanished from Tulsa, but with Richard Roberts in charge, the wackiness couldn't end there. Oral continued to spout his craziness on national TV, and still does to this day. He's 91, semi-retired, living in California. Richard Roberts was forced to leave as president of Oral Roberts University in 2007 following allegations of misappropriation of school funds. Oral stepped in and gave the role to another Tulsa televangelist, Billy Joe Daughtry. Eventually, Oral Roberts University would hire a real president. Oral Roberts, his ministry, and his offspring have done nearly nothing to make this world a better place. They are leeches. Oral Roberts built his ministry out of hundreds of millions of dollars to build some failed hospital in a failed skyscraper. Though his power has weakened a bit, by nature, his very existence means that people are dumber for knowing him. The damage he does to reason and self-examination continues, and it shouldn't be allowed. If you are a faith healer, wake up.